The Super Vader 400 here, back for another retro no, review, and this time I'm reviewing Dragon Ball GT, which is my favorite of the Dragon Ball trilogy. Actually, as of as of now, thanks to Battle of the Gods, Dragon Ball GT is no longer part of the Dragon Ball trilogy. But this is my favorite Dragon Ball um show. This show had this show has um everything. I used to rag on this show for being inconsistent with the first two series, but when you put the inconsistencies aside and watch this show as its own thing, which it is, it's an adaptation just like Dragon Ball Evolution. This is what this is the best version of Dragon Ball ever. This show had it all. Story, action, awesome characters, and it was just badass. Just like Dragon Ball Evolution. A campy a campy, fun, goofy action adventure series with a um, great story centered around these characters. It has its flaws, but the positives outrule the flaws, man, which I'm about to get to in a minute. Brief history, of course. Um, I first got into Dragon Ball GT or in around 2002. I had a magazine called... I have two magazines. Well, the first one I don't have anymore. The first one was called Totally Dragon Ball Z. I don't have that one anymore. Then I have another one called Absolutely Dragon Ball Z. And at that time, we, we were on the Majin Buu saga, the Fusion saga. And they said, um, and they said uh, in the book, it, uh, uh, um, they said after the Buu saga, the next series continues in the anime only Dragon Ball GT. And I was seeing pictures on the computer of characters like Baby Vegeta, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Ve Vegeta, fan-made stuff like Super Saiyan 4 Brawly, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, um, um, Super Android 17, the, the, the Omega Shinron, all of this awesome stuff, all of this, um, awesome, um, stuff, and I, I couldn't wait, I, I downloaded it using iMesh, I downloaded the series on, um, uh, on Imish, on Imish, and um, watched, and watched it all in sub, and it was awesome. The Japanese sub of DVGT is awesome. I love the Don 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 song and the recap thing, which is a slower version of the Don Don song. Um, and then of course, I, um, um, then of course we get to um. Then of course, um, finally when it premiered in English, when it premiered in English, I finally watched the English version and um, it was pretty good. I start, I later started turning on GT when I saw better shows like Naruto, Fist of the North Star and stuff, and when I saw how inconsistent it was with the last two um series and the last two series. But I still watched it and enjoyed it despite those um problems. And now after watching the entire series again, I have. E even more appreciation for this show now than I did when I was um, younger. I love um, this show. I love the way the characters were presented here. I love the, the, the brand new story. I love the edgier character designs. The new music, both dubs, the Japanese dub and the Funimation dub. This right here was just an awesome show. This show is set, I think, ten years, five to ten years after Goku left with Oob. Goku left with Oob. Um, Goku and Oob are training on um, caps training inside the hyperbolic time chamber, having an epic battle. After it is over, while that is happening, Emperor Pilaf and his gang, using a giant robot, get to the top of the lookout and find the the Black Star Dragon Balls, the Black Star Dragon Balls, and make a wish for Goku to be a kid again. Goku would be a kid again. Goku walks in on him and Pilaf accidentally wastes his wish by saying, I wish Goku was a kid again. Goku turns back into a kid. Goku turns back into a kid. And, um, and um, now King Kai warns them that since the wish was made on the Black Star Dragon Balls, they have a year to find the Dragon Balls before the Earth before the earth um, explodes. Before the Earth explodes. Um, so Goku Goku goes to Capsule Corp and um, he rounds up a team with Pan, Trunks, and Goten. Goten gets accidentally left behind because he was talking to his girlfriend and while Pan accidentally, well, intentionally launched the ship into space 
And so now the team is go to go go cool trucks and pan and um the earlier episodes are very reminiscent of the earlier Dragon Ball with more emphasis on comedy and and long and complex adventures on getting the Dragon Balls Dragon Balls but um this was uh, this was my opinion was fun it is wasn't good the Black Star Dragon Ball saga really wasn't um that good it didn't get good until they stopped on a planet Mew but it was still lots of this it was still fun there were lots of cool moments and there was one awesome fight with Goku and Legend with Legend the guy with the two swords that that was a badass fight right there um it got good when they finally landed on Dr. Mew's um planet and got cap got stranded on Dr. Mew's um planet and, and Goku fought the Sigma Force and um General Rildo. That stuff was awesome. Then it really gets good when you learn that General Rildo was controlled by a parasitic DNA called um Baby, who is the DNA I think of the Tuffle King. The Tuffle King. The um Tuffle King. Um they come back to Earth, um, baby, baby, um, infects, infects, um, a lot of people, kills a lot of people, finds Goten, fights him, fights him, takes over his body, then infects, then leaves his eggs inside him to infect him, then he takes over Gohan, Gohan beats the, Gohan fights Vegeta, Gohan fights Vegeta, baby leaves the stuff inside, um, what's his name, and then baby takes over Vegeta's body, then Goku, then baby, of course, baby, of course, um, baby and Goku fight, baby and Goku fight, and baby, um, baby nearly kills Goku, but Goku wins a game of death to keep his life, to keep his life, and then, of course, he goes back. Then of course he goes back to the Kai world, and a uh, baby uses the set, the dra the black, the makes a wish on the Black Star Dragon Balls, makes another wish on the Black Star Dragon Balls to um to 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 um to wish back his Tuffle Planet, to wish Earth was his Tuffle Planet, wish Earth was his Tuffle Planet, and rebuilds um the population by having pretty much everyone um control. With, with the exception of Majin Buu, Hercule, Pan, and um, Oob. And um, Oob. Oob fights Baby in an awesome fight. Majin Buu and Oob reform together to form Maju. They fight, they fight Baby, but, and, and unleash a giant chocolate blast on Baby. Baby deflects it. I'm back at Oob, and Oob gets eaten, which makes Baby even more powerful. Goku comes back. Super Saiyan 3 after his training to, to stretch out his tail. Super Saiyan 3 fights Baby. Baby easily beats him and prepares to kill him with the Revenge Death Ball. But Goku, seeing the um, moon, accidentally looks at the moon and refuses to give up. Transforms into the Ozaru. Transforms into a golden Ozaru. Badass moment right here. Transforms into a golden Ozaru. Golden Ozaru and then eventually regains control of the transformation and becomes a super saiyan 4 and this right here was awesome this entire fight Goku and baby the fight choreography the story the build up to it everything was awesome then I had to be on the edge of my seat then baby uses a machine uses a machine to go super saiyan 4 and it really gets epic here it really gets epic here all the Z fighters trying to fight um Goku Super Saiyan 4 trying to fight what's his name and all the Z fighters assisting him, giving him his energy, then baby attacking from the um Oob attacking from the inside, weakening on what's his name, Goku finally Goku finally realized he has I like how he realized he had, that he might that he might have to even kill Vegeta, but instead he destroys baby's tail, which turns him back to normal, then he prepares to, to kill Vegeta, baby walks out and realizes that he can't win here and prepares to get his revenge some other day. Goku Goku takes a Kamehameha wave and blasts him into the sun which prevents Baby from um, regenerating and destroys him for good. Like I said, awesome here. Peace appears to be um, restored by Trunks on the way from a party. Trunks on the way, on the way to a party at um, Chi Chi's house gets attacked by, gets attacked by Android 17.
It is revealed. It's later revealed that that is Hellfighter Android 17, and that they brainwashed the other Android 17, and that they're supposed to meet together so they can form a powerful um enemy. While also something happens with Earth and Heaven, Earth and Heaven, with something happens with Earth in the other world, and all the bad guys who previously died escape hell, escape hell, and come back to Earth, and come back um and come back to Earth and come back to Earth so all the Z fighters another awesome moment all the Z fighters kill and send all the um fighters back to um back to hell back to hell but that was just an opening act the real um uh the real bad guy Android 17 comes they both fuse and form a powerful super Android 17 and beat the holy piss out of Goten Trunks and uh, Vegeta, Vegeta, Piccolo, who sacrificed his freedom in heaven to help Goku, who got stranded in hell to fight Frieza, so using some chant within they meant just to open up a portal to allow Goku to escape hell and go back to Earth to fight Super Android 17. Goku transforms into Goku trans transforms into a Super Saiyan 4, fights Android 7, Super Android 17, but Super Android 17 absorbs the energy Goku throws at him, and Goku transforms into a um Super Saiyan. Goku transforms into a suit, and then of course Goku transforms back to normal, continues to fight, loses, but the goodness of Android 17. And the assistance of um, Android 18 allowed Goku to overwhelm Super 17 and kill him with the Super Dragon Fist. Then, of course, peace appears to be restored, but the four star, the Dragon Balls, when they summon the Dragon Balls, instead of Shinron comes out, an evil smoking Shinron comes out, comes out and, and reveals that since the Earthlings have constantly misused the balls, the energy cracked and created the shadow dragon so now they have to kill each shadow dragon and round up the dragon balls Goku and Pan easily dispose of the first two of the first three um dragons of the first three dragons but they have a hard time with Nova Shinron Goku fights Nova Shinron Goku fights Nova Shinron but before they can finish their fight um, Ice Shinron comes out of nowhere and attacks um, Goku and Ice Shinron takes over the fight and unlike Nova Shinron who is honorable, Ice Shinron uses a bunch of dirty tactics, dirty tactics to beat Goku, to beat um, Goku, to beat Goku, but Goku eventually overwhelms and kills Ice Shinron and now Nova Shinron and Goku Nova Shinron, Goku promised I'm another fight someday, but out of out of nowhere, Sin Shinron comes out of nowhere. The most powerful dra Black Star Dragon comes out of nowhere and kills Nova Shinron. And um, Goku blind fights Sin Shinron. Sin Shinron with the help of the other Z fighters, but it's of no avail. It's of no avail, and of course. Vegeta later joins the battle and of course transforms into a Super Saiyan 4 but they are still no match for Omega Nigga Shinron so they fuse into Gogeta Super Saiyan 4. This part was a, a low part of the series in my opinion. I want to see Goku and Vegeta Super Saiyan 4 and the Z Fighters fight Shinron. Not um freaking uh, Vegeta. Not freaking Gogeta. Gogeta easily beats, easily toys with um Omega Shinron, but um, the time runs out, and they both of them turn back to turn back to their normal forms. Not only they split up, not only is the fusion split, but they both turn back to normal. So Goku's even weaker now. And both of them all try to um fight Shinron, but it's no avail. It appears that Shinron is win will win, that evil will prevail. But out of nowhere. But um, Goku, out of nowhere, comes up with a desperation spirit bomb and easily kills, kills, and kills um, Omega Shinra in a badass fashion. Pro probably the best form of the spirit bomb I've seen. And uh, peace is restored, and they wish back everyone as well, as their last official wish on the Dragon Balls. They wish back everyone who's been killed. And the Dragon Balls are absorbed. The Dragon Goku absorbs the Dragon Balls. 
and muse with um, Shinron, but not before the emotional saying goodbye to everyone, saying goodbye to everyone, and in episode 64, everybody is dead with the exception of uh, Pan, and there's a new Goku, Goku Jr., and Vegeta Jr., and the show ends off with, with an emotional with an emotional send off sending off the entire Dragon Ball series and chronicling their adventures that part was emotional like I said awesome stuff I loved um, this series that I was emotionally connected with the characters when Piccolo sacrificed himself to save Earth even though that didn't make much sense that right there made me respect Piccolo then later sacrificing an eternity in hell so we get up Goku that made me respect um, Piccolo and um and um, Goku doing everything in his power, finally being the hero he needed to be. That's one thing I hated about Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. I felt Goku wasn't being the hero he needed to be in those series, but here he was being the hero he needed. Vegeta, oh, I usually can't stand him, but he is awesome. Here he finally used the Super Saiyan 4 power, not to get revenge on Goku, not to fight Goku or surpass him, or to take down and try to rule the world, take down Freeze and try to rule the world. He gained power so he could do everything he could. To help his friends and family that right there I actually like Vegeta here Goten and Trunks were much better here Trunks will never have the power future Trunks has but he was at least I love this unique design and he was at least personality wise similar to the future Trunks instead of the cocky a-hole he was in Dragon Ball Z Goten was way better instead of being a poor man's version of Goku and Gohan he was uh he was pretty much a um he was pretty much a um Ladies man, ladies man in this series, ladies man series, and I love the new per the personality from Goten and Gohan. Like I know, I love his new personality. I hate the fact that he's weaker, but Gohan is not the main hero. And I uh, Gohan, ooh, but Majin Buu are better here. I usually can't stand him. Urkyo is better than who I usually can't stand here. Um, Maju was awesome. Um, um, then of course you got um. Villains, Legic, uh, Rildo, Rildo, Baby, Baby, especially the Baby Vegeta form. Um, um, who else in this series? Um, no, who else? Omega Shin, Omega Shinron, Omega, Omega Shinron. Um, the, yeah, yeah, the the Shadow Dragons, the last four. Um, Nova, Ice Shinron, and um, Omega Shinron. And Super Android 17 and all the previous bad guys. This was nostalgic. All the previous bad guys from Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z coming back. Only problems I had with this show was Cell and Freezer were unusually weak. Um, um, go to um, 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 Raditz, who was among the villains who escaped hell, was nowhere to be seen, got beat up off screen and sent back to hell. Um, and you couldn't give Piccolo a good fight in this show, but this right here was an awesome series, man. This right here was an awesome series, man. Um, which is David? In my opinion, the best of the Dragon Ball um, trilogy. Um, everything about this show was good. All right. Um, dugout. I'll do saga reviews later. All right, dugout.